So after 10 years, Eugenio Derbez returns to Spanish comedy. We missed you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> and llegaron de noche. They came at night. And this is a powerful duo with Jason Alexander and Eugenio Derbez. I would have never imagined seeing you guys two together. Well, I was going to say, they carefully did not put us in the same shot. In no. any, I think it was. I think it was meant to be. It's just huh? too much for the audience. To Imagine have. that. How did you guys first meet? Because um, I'm assuming Eugenio, you were so stoked. Or excited to work with absolutely Jason of course I mean uh, when I heard that uh, having Jason was a possibility I, I was I was shocked and and then uh, this is a great anecdote uh, uh, when he finally said yes and we I, I was like are you sure we have Jason Alexander yeah 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 the strike the mm -hmm. SAG strike uh, started so I was like I can't believe this is happening we're going to lose him. So we start waiting for him. Well, no, not for him, for the SAG strike to, to finish. And it didn't happen. It didn't happen. And we were getting to the end of the shooting. And, and, and all of a sudden, we had to make a decision. So we, we decided to, to put everything on storage, everything related with him on, on his sets, yes. to put it on storage uh, and wait until he was available. And, and we did it. 100%. You must feel they, special. And put it all back together. I mean, it was just That's remarkable. incredible. No, I mean, remarkable. to do something for an actor like that. Because uh, they could uh, just yeah. say, you know, we'll just switch the yeah, actor. Yeah, I mean, you know, right? it's very nice that they were excited. But there's, you know, I, I will tell you, there's 100 actors for every part. <laughs> so um, it, it was no, very but flattering. It. And I, I was thrilled that they did because I had a fantastic time doing it. Yeah. So now that you met Eugenio Derbez, um, what was it different? Uh, you work with so many directors. How... Uh, was his directing different than any anybody else that you work in it's the It's not that it's so different, but it is unique. Okay. Because most, especially directors that work with cameras, um, they can be brilliant directors, but it doesn't mean that they have the whole package. So I've met directors who are brilliant with cameras, mm -hmm. can't talk to an actor. Or if they talk to an actor, they just go, do this. That's all they know to say. Or they're wonderful with actors, but they don't know how to use a camera to be a storyteller, right? Uh -huh. It's very rare that I that I've experienced all of it in the same package. Well, clearly, Eugenio knows how to talk to an actor, right? Mm -hmm. What I did not know about him because I had never seen anything he had directed. I only knew him as an as an actor. Um, but I got to see a bunch of what he had shot before mm -hmm. I ever went down there, and it is, I mean, it's it's beautiful yes. it's beautiful and it's rich and it's cinematic storytelling and it captures the period it captures the 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 film making mm -hmm. process so I knew I was in <laughs> great hands mm -hmm. before I went down there and then we had I mean it was fun we, we you know there was nothing difficult there was no oh, you want to do that it was just like what are we doing oh that sounds fun let's yeah and and playful and fun and um, the, the scene I remember so much that we had a great time with, I don't think you've seen it yet, if you've only seen the first two mm. episodes, is where I'm trying to use a, a golf putter in my <laughs> office and the balls are flying <laughs> everywhere. And, you know, we're not actually hitting balls in that scene. It all has to be done later. <laughs> mm -hmm. But, you know, the chaos was in such controlled and capable hands that it was, it was a delight. And his crew was a delight. And his producers, oh. it was just... I had never been to Mexico before. That was my first time in Mexico. Oh, wow. And I, it was just a beautiful introduction to the country and, and Mexico City and, yeah. and all of his team. It was, it was lovely. Really so lovely. what do you take from our community, from the Latinos? Well, I can tell you this. Mm -hmm. What was really lovely to see, not surprising, I guess, but lovely, is um, in Hollywood, the filmmaking community is kind of vast. And you might yes. do 30 films and you never see the same crew people twice. Mm -hmm. What it felt like there was that there was a very tight-knit community mm -hmm. of people who have worked together before, know each other, know how to be a team, mm -hmm. and, and enjoy the process of working together. So it was very much like stepping into a family mm -hmm. situation oh. and a very functional family situation, yeah. and that was that was wonderful. And then you know, um, uh, particularly I spent some time with Javier Williams, one of our producers, who took me around Mexico City and took me to these fabulous restaurants. And so it was just it was glorious. When you knew that you were going to work with Jason uh, Alexander, <laughs> and you, I mean, you're you're an actor, you're producing, and you're directing. How did you prepare? To direct him. 
I, Were you I was I was very nervous. I I gotta be honest. You didn't look it. <laughs> but but, but I, it, at the same time, I I, I was like, uh, it was it was a dream come true to me as a director, uh, because what he just said uh, that's true. Mm -hmm. I I mean I like directing because I feel that when I am I, I am directed by a, a director usually. Uh, yes. When I'm just an actor, um, I feel that exactly what he said. Some directors are good at the camera, some are, are the actors, mm. but have both things, it's complicated. So I, I really wanted to to be my best version of a director for, for him. And I was very nervous, but you know what? This guy, I mean, he nailed so it. I didn't, I didn't have to say anything. He mm -hmm. he's, He has it. I mean, I don't have to do a lot of work directing it because, because he's amazing. Uh. And he's humble. Very that's, humble. <laughs> that's a that's a well, characteristic. Well, because I married a woman who said, "Don't believe anything they say." <laughs> <laughs> You're not all that. You guys have that in common, though, and um, the biggest stars um, are the most humble. I think. Uh, no. Yes. So you guys Thank you, Lucy. Are Thank you. The biggest stars, Thanks. in my opinion. Oh. Pues muchas gracias. Thank you very much for this interview. My I, it was a pleasure meeting Thank both of you. Thank you, Lucy.